Hmm. Shannon, does LeBron have a point? Of course he does. Uh, LeBron James drove the ball yesterday 18 times. He shot four free throws. Let's put this in context. James Harden averaged driving the ball to the basket 17 times a game. He shoots 10 free throws a game. Devin Booker, Lou Williams are shooting more free throw attempts per game than LeBron James. And Skip, you always get them like, LeBron, drive the ball to the basket. No one can stop you. Well, this is the biggest deterrent for him because when he drives the ball to the basket, he doesn't get officiated fairly. Mm -hmm. And again, it goes back, oh, he's like Shaq. You know, Shaq was the hardest guy in the NBA to ever officiate. Nowhere in the rule book, and I've looked at it a little bit, Joe, I haven't read it like I you know, do certain things, but I've looked at the rule book. But nowhere does it say if you're six foot eight, 250 pounds, you would be officiated differently than someone who's not. Does the guy that's guarding LeBron, does he impede him from going where he wants to go illegally? Hmm. Hmm. A foul. Does he grab? Does he clutch? Does he slap? It's a foul. <clears throat> LeBron James is not... If you didn't know any better, if I, just, if I just took James off the back of the jersey and watched him drive and watch how he's officiated, you would think he's just a guy. Hmm. Now, that doesn't excuse George Hill, Jetty Osman, and J.R. Smith going three for 21 over 10 from the three-point line, mm. four of the starters had 14 points. LeBron James had 33. Mm. That doesn't excuse that, Skip, but what he's... How many minutes did those other starters play in the fourth quarter? Just for the record. Um, um, I'm looking at George. I'm looking at JR. He played about 10 minutes too long. Jetty played wait, about... Wait, they played, he played zero. JR played zero in the fourth quarter. Jetty got in with one minute of garbage time left in the whole game, yes. so he played one minute in the fourth quarter. Well, Tristan played zero minutes in the fourth quarter, and George Hill played zero minutes yeah. in the fourth quarter. So Ty Lue just said they are garbage today, so they're not going to play a single minute of the fourth quarter. And what happens, Skip, you know, and this is what normally goes. LeBron normally t tries to play at least about 11 minutes of the mm -hmm. third quarter. They get him out, and yeah. then they try to give him a break the first three to five minutes of the fourth quarter. And that's kind of where the game got out of hand. It did. Because they, what, they made that three-point basket, and then they made 13 straight. So a 16-0 run kind of put the game. And by the time LeBron got back in, mm -hmm. the, it had gotten out of hand. But there's a situation, Skip. LeBron is standing on the basket. Pau Gasol shoves him in the back with both hands. You saw it. Everybody saw it. They get the, oh, why are you smiling, Skip? Why are you key, key, key? Pau Gasol? I'm, I'm not sure he can shove you down. Did, I mean, seriously. Did he shove him in the back, Skip? Yes or no? That's all I'm I asking. I guess so. But Pau Gasol, they even let Pau dunk on him in the fourth quarter. He, he's like the, the least physical big man in the NBA. But go ahead. But did he push? Look at he's this. He's total finesse. Skip. Yeah. Poor he's, LeBron. LeBron, he pushed the man in the back. Poor LeBron. He pushed him in the back. You Poor know LeBron. he pushed him in the back and Come they on. get off a three. It's and, Pau Gasol. It doesn't matter, Skip. He used both hands. He shoved the guy in the back. When have you seen this? When have – But that wasn't about driving the ball to the back. No, no, no. I'm just saying yeah. the, dis the disparity skill. Okay. LeBron's at home. They shoot mm -hmm. 14. The road team shoots 32. When was the last time you saw that happen? Hmm. That doesn't happen often. Hmm. And I think he's trying to plant the seed. Every, every once in a while, Skip, he's like, I get officiated differently. They're not giving me the calls that they give other guys that dri drive the basketball. Mm -hmm. And some guys that are not known as, as drivers of the ball mm -hmm. are getting calls that LeBron James no longer gets. Mm -hmm. As Joey mentioned in the read, he's on pace to shoot the fewest amount of free throw attempts since his rookie season. Mm -hmm. He's driving the ball as much as he ever has but he's shooting less at the free throw line. Why is that, Skip Bayless? This is unacceptable. LeBron James should be getting the same call as the James Harden, the Russell Westbrook. Now, I know on average they drive more. I mean, and looking at the stats, it's a little, it's a little misleading. But yeah. what, like you tell me, Joe, I'm an eye test guy. Mm. And my eyes tell me, you know, mm. I need glasses, but uh, I had them on yesterday. Mm. And he's getting fouled. You done? and they're not calling. Okay, good. My turn? Yeah. Thank you. By the way, my story says he drove it 12 times, not 18 times, but I don't know where you got that, but that maybe it is. Whatever, he, he drove a good number of times yes. yesterday. So, before I launch into what I'm about to say, let us not lose sight of the fact 
that LeBron may be trying to take some of the focus and some of the blame off what happened in the fourth quarter because at home they got blown off their home floor once again, 34 to 20 mm-hmm. in the fourth quarter. That's that's not pretty. No. And the best player on the planet is on one team and the lowly Spurs are the other team because you realize they came in having lost six out of seven games, mm-hmm. four straight games they had lost. Mm-hmm. They've been pretty pathetic without Kawhi Leonard. And yesterday they didn't have a guy who had been vying for sixth man of the year in Manu Ginobili. He's got a chest contusion. He did not see the floor yesterday. And it was 34 to 20 Spurs just in the fourth quarter. So let's not lose sight of that. Mm-hmm. It may have been fairly strategic on LeBron's part to send this salvo at the referees just to take the onus off the mess that was the Cavaliers' offense on the floor during the fourth quarter, and their defense for that matter. But now let's go back to the bigger picture point. I am shocked that LeBron James chose yesterday to take this shot at the referees because Mr. Sharp, Mm -hmm. Exhibit A here is the San Antonio Spurs – have fouled the least number of times in the NBA this year. They just don't foul a whole lot. So let's let's keep it in the context here that we have the team that's fouled the least after LeBron on Friday night played at Memphis. And by the way, I gave him high marks on Twitter for this. You can look it up. He did play back-to-back at Memphis on Friday night. But if you want to talk about discrepancy, Memphis is the team in the NBA that has fouled the most times. They have fouled... 329 times more than the Spurs have fouled. Mm -hmm. So if you want to take a stand against the referees and how you're not being officiated, take it on Friday night ahead of the big Sunday national TV game against Popovich and the Spurs. Okay. Because Memphis fouls the most, and still you shot only four free throws against Memphis. Right. You played your high minutes, and he played by far the most minutes in the game yesterday, but he shot only four free throws yesterday, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so your your criticism, your your case should have been made on Friday night about what happened at Memphis. They did win the game, obviously. Mm-hmm. But versus what happened yesterday, the Spurs have always played LeBron very well. As everybody knows, in finals competition, it's 11-5 to Popovich and Spurs. That's the score of the games. They've won 11 games to five games for LeBron in his tenure in the finals versus San Antonio. Correct. So the point is that their mantra, and I've told you this again and again, on LeBron is, Don't let him get to the rim. And because they are so long with Gasol and LaMarcus, especially when they're on the floor together, which is often, LeBron just can't get to the rim. And there was a play that was made with uh, 6.57 left in the game that caused LeBron to get a technical foul. And Kyle Anderson actually blocked LeBron from behind. Are you believing that? I mean, Kyle... Kyle can't outjump you right now. Did he hit him in the face? Nope, he didn't hit him at all. He blocked the ball as cleanly as you can block it, and LeBron turns and whines to the referee about, he didn't hit him in the face. He got pure all ball. And LeBron turns and, ah, you got it. And he got a technical foul, which he deserved at that point because he'd been crying about everything. I don't believe it was about that play. He's been, he's, he. That was the play that probably brought it to the crescendo. But he's complaining like they're fouling me before and you're not giving me this call. But see, I love how you mentioned they were blown off the court in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they, shot, they were. The Cavs shot three free throws. The uh-huh. Spurs shot 13. Well, one team's more aggressive than the other team. Oh, really? So, yeah. that, so you want me to believe, you would have me to believe that Murray and these guys drive the basketball more than LeBron James. The Spurs are by foul the fewest fouling team in basketball. Yes. They're, they play smart basketball. They don't foul a lot. You know, it's it's kind of an art form in basketball, mm-hmm. lost on your eyes often, mm-hmm. to try not to foul. Don't play physical, over-the-top, crash-and-bang basketball because that will send the other team to the free throw line. The Spurs don't send you to the free throw line very often. So why would LeBron take a stand against this team? I agree with you in the big picture he, this is Shaquille O'Neal syndrome. It is. But it, it's been this way for the last, what, five years? Yeah. He is, by the way, Tristan said he weighs 280. Maybe Tristan's got some inside information. LeBron, LeBron don't weigh no 280. That's what Tristan said. He's 280. 
I mean, he plays with him. He's his teammate. So, so I, I'm going to say I'm going to start calling him 280 pound LeBron James. No, don't do that. Six nine two eighty. He's six That's eight two fifty. That's unfair. That is unfair. Stop it, Skip. And the referees know it's unfair. They know that anytime LeBron wants to, he can get to the rim. Okay. Well, how about calling it? Okay. So here's what happens. Referees are smart. Mm -hmm. Referees read the websites. They read all the newspapers. Why are they reading the paper? They know what's going on and what's not going on, and they know who can make their free throws and who doesn't make their free throws, and and they're right there with me because they've known for years and years that LeBron, for all of his all-time greatness, and he is obviously all-time great. We can debate where he belongs on Mount Rushmore or whether he yet even belongs He's anywhere. He's on Mount Rushmore. Okay? Stop talking about debating. The, <laughs> I, I'm not sure about that. But he has been a poor free throw shooter by his status. Oh, so let me get this right. I just want to make sure that I'm hearing you correctly and the viewers at home are hearing you correctly. I heard. The you reason why have. the officials are not – Joe, I make sure you make – go ahead. You go, oh, go. I, I didn't okay. get to finish oh, my I, I just want to make this one. Skip Bayless would have us to believe – that the officials are not calling the fouls on LeBron because they know he's going to go to the free throw line and miss the free throw. So why call him? Last year, LeBron James shot a career low 67% from the free throw line for the whole year. That's just flat out pathetic for a player of, of this magnitude. But Skip, that's it's pathetic. pathetic. That's and the refs know it. They're not going to give him a break because he is so big. We got Shaq syndrome going on. And also because... They don't respect him because he doesn't make what they give him. Because James Harden is an 87% free throw shooter. And you are right. He has shot the most free throws and averaged the most free throws per game in the whole NBA. But the refs are saying, if I give him this call, and by the way, he's kind of a willowy 6'5". You know, he doesn't have LeBron's upper body, obviously. Uh, he deserves that call. He might deserve that call. Half the time I'm saying, that was a foul. You know what? I sure hope the police have this. Fu- you know what? I'm going to say, look here, man. I don't know why you gave me this ticket. You know I'm going to be able to get I'm going to be able to pay it. So you might as well just go on along about your business. Oh, Skip, so you know good and well. I, I don't know. I know, know how the, good- I know how the psyche of these people work. They, sh- first of they all- know LeBron's a lousy free throw shooter. What so the- they're just saying, ah, just get to the basket and make the shot. Skip. Don't drift. Don't drift. Because even they yesterday, he him. starts drrifting away from the basket. They are filing, attack, fouling a tip. You don't basket. get to skip. That's not how it's supposed to be. You don't get to determine if the guy's going to make or miss the free throw, whether or not a foul has been called. Uh, 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 a uh, foul should be called. I'm just telling you how the, the mindset works. Well, they need to get the new NBA mindset. Referees. Well, okay. He needs to prove he can make free throws. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.